for this to be able to roll, we need to put the wheels inside the body and there needs to be room around them. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a area that's the correct size to do that. If we click on a cylinder hole, switch to fit view, switch to top, you can see that that's decent, but we want it perfect. So let's orient it with the align tool and go pop and pop. And you can see that leaves several millimeters. I'm going to shrink this down or one millimeter on every side. And if we push it in 10, you can see that's way too much gap. So let's go seven and that should leave about two millimeters uh, between the entire project. And that leaves at least a millimeter on every side. That is a nifty size for a wheel well. Now the magical thing next is we need to change the sides to 60 and we need to max out the bevel. The bevel is what makes it so that it prints in both directions accurately. And then I like to take that bevel and make it 2 uh, so that it's got a nice slope. With that piece built, let's flip it 90 degrees. Remember, you can use the large tick marks to immediately get to 90 degrees. And let's move it into our car body where we want our first wheel to go. I'm going to hide the wheel for a moment. And remember, you've got a center axle that has got to be in your car. So we're going to have to add a piece underneath so that we've got a room for our center axle uh, to cut through. I'm going to move this down uh, two millimeters. So I'm trying to get it below half. I think I like that. And then I need to push it all the way into my car. I'm just using the arrow keys to get it so it's flat. Because I gave it the extra couple millimeters, I know I've got that much distance. Using fit view, I can easily get that on my screen. And I'm going to make a second one. And do the same trick where I push it out. I'm going to switch to 0.5 millimeters so that it's closer to perfection. I'll do the same fit view to selection so I can get a good look at it. I like that. I'm going to switch to the other side. Love that fit view to selection. It just moves it right where I want. Love that. You can see underneath here, this is where I'm talking. We'll need support for the axle, which we'll do in a moment. But right now, let's get all four wheels put in. Control D. I'm going to go back to the body size by fitting that view to selection. And then because I did Control D, I'm going to go back to those wheels, and I want two wheels, so I'm holding down Shift and clicking on both, and nudging them forward, because I already did Control D to duplicate them. Accidentally hit the wrong key, so I'll just nudge those to the left. That one obviously needs to come one more. And now I've got my wheels in the front and the back the way I want. And it's time to make my wheel wells permanent by hitting group. So my car is starting to shape, take shape. If I go back to my show all, I've got a tire and I've got wheels. Uh, move to the next step in the training to learn how to put those wheels in place.